serious physicists are contemplating time travel. Serious physicists are contemplating parallel universes. Serious physicists are trying to understand the 11 dimensions of string theory. And when you get into those realms, you start to look to myth and uh, sort of magical thinking and almost surreal thinking as a way to even talk about those things. Were the early occult masters keepers of secrets that modern science is only beginning to rediscover? The trail of the occult begins in Egypt 5,000 years ago. Just before the rise of Egypt's great pharaohs, hieroglyphics or pictographs were invented. Egyptians used them to document their history and religion and to practice complex systems of astronomy, astrology, and geometry. They believed their powerful knowledge came from the god Thoth. Thoth, or Tehuti, was the Egyptian god of magic. And more than just the god of magic, he was the god of writing, of astronomy, of mathematics and science. He invented language, he invented writing. Only priests with special training were allowed access to Thoth's sacred knowledge. Imhotep, builder of the first pyramid, was one of the chosen. Thoth was considered to be the one who gave us writing and numbers and the um, arts of self-cultivation through works of consciousness. Some people thought he was a person who was then deified through his accomplishments. Other people feel that this has been a mythical entity from the beginning. Legends held that a book of magic written by Thoth contained the secrets of the gods. The Book of Thoth was actually considered to be um, in the astral plane. Not a physical thing, but something that you had to actually travel in consciousness to arrive at. And so uh, this is probably one of those very old incidences of channeling where an individual would get into a special state of mind, contact the Thoth energy wherever it was to be found, and then be tutored by this uh, multilingual, multi-code kind of consciousness. If you were to describe the Book of Thoth, you could also, you know, look at, at a building like the Pyramid or the Sphinx and say that the teachings contained therein are pages within the Book of Thoth. So all measurement, all words, all concepts 